What's up YouTube? Before we start, make sure to smash the like button for more fire content. If you haven't subscribed yet, make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell. For all the newcomers, welcome to Team Island. If you haven't yet, be sure to follow Team Island on the IG page. There's a lot of great content on that page and I'm always active, so if you have any questions, be sure to DM me. Team Island DB Workout Episode 9 we had a great workout today. We did drills to really focus on our hips and zone reads, reading the quarterback. Make sure to like the video if you haven't, and let's get into it. So today we really focus on zone reads. So as we're doing these drills, we're reading the quarterback and we really want to emphasize working our hips for each drill. So right here, we're just doing a simple drill to work on our hips. So we get our over this hurdle, crossover run, break back 45 down. This is the same drill. Be sure to sink your hips coming out of your brakes so you can really explode out of there so you can attack the ball. So similar drill right here. Make sure to get over the hurdle. Make sure you cross over one. And instead of 45, we break it at a 90 degree angle. So remember, when you're doing your crossover run, you really want to run like you're covering a fade. Then as soon as you see that quarterback lead you to a 90 degree break, you want to sink your hips and get out of there. When you're doing your crossover run, you want to practice this at full speed so it becomes easier in the game coming in and out of your breaks. So for this drill, we're doing a similar thing. We're going over the hurdle, crossover run, we're going to break at a 90, and we're going to break 45 up towards the post. You want to make sure to attack the ball at the highest point. Make sure to not round your breaks and have sharp breaks towards the right angles. So make sure when you're reading the quarterback, you're reading the shoulders of the quarterback. So this is a similar drill, but now we're breaking down 45 down, and then we're gonna to break towards up the field. Make sure you attack the ball at the highest point. Why Jake, 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 why Jake. So now we're doing the same drills, just the other side. Really focus on getting in and out of your brakes, sinking the hips for each break so it'll be a smoother and easier break coming out of there. This is a tough catch right here. I'm not even gonna lie. But can you do it in a game though? That's the question, right? Remember, we don't want to jump trying to come out of our brakes, right? We really want to get that one-two stick or the steps that we need to get out of our brakes. Because if you jump, you're losing all momentum, you're going back down, and you have to restart. But if you get that one-two, your feet are continuously moving, and it'll be easier and quicker for you to get out your brakes. Remember, 
remember to always attack the ball at the highest point. We don't want to be on Sports Center for the wrong reason, right? You don't want to be that guy. Hey, I made it to Sports Center, but you that guy that got bagged. You know what I'm saying? Nah, we don't want to do that. We want to be on Sports Center for the right reason. So practice attacking the ball at the highest point. For this drill, we're just really working on changing the speed of our back pedal. So we just go slow, fast, slow, fast, and then we're breaking out of that, right? So you really want to really focus on changing speed, keep your arms moving, get in and out of your break, get low, work your T-step or whatever break you do, but really get in and out and really focus on going slow to fast and really push yourself, right? You really want to work on really speeding up Decelerate it, accelerate it again, decelerate it in your pedal. So this is a great drill to practice when you're beat, right? So we're reading the receiver's hip drop. So each cone has different routes. So the first cone is either going to be a slant or a speed out. Second cone is either going to be a 10 yard in or a 10 yard out. And the last cone is either going to be a comeback or a fade. So you really focus on reading the receiver's hip drop and you're going to react from the breaks he makes. So you want to make things a little bit difficult for yourself. So you really want to start about a yard and a half away from the receiver, reading his hips. As his hip drop, you drop with it. And then if he declares a route, you react with it. Over time, you will eventually get better at doing this drill, but this is a great drill to practice. So when you're playing man to man with the receiver, you discipline reading his hip drop and you have an idea of what routes to expect. And you have an idea of how to cover, get out of your breaks and cover that route. When you're doing this drill, don't panic. Just relax and really focus on the drill, right? Don't try to guess where the receiver is going to break, neither. Read, be disciplined, read the hip, read the hip drops, and react. Don't guess. That's how you're going to get beat. Really focus on trying to be disciplined. But this concludes the end of the video. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe if you haven't. Go ahead and tell your friends, family, uncles, cousins, grandmas, grandpas. Tell them all. Hey, Team Island's on the come up. Go check it out. Really appreciate all y'all. You guys take it easy. Enjoy y'all day. Peace.